Hi, I'm Jake Urban from the Jackson Hole Outdoor Leadership Institute. We're up in Togety Pass in East Brescia Drainage. We're at about 10,300 feet. We're in a west-northwesterly aspect, about 28 degrees. And uh, we've been doing some compression tests here in about 110, 120 centimeters of snow. Uh, we're seeing two different layers become reactive. One of which is the surface hoar layer, which is the interface between the new snow and the old snow. And then the other thing that we're seeing show up is, is the facet layer from, uh, from our early season snow, and that's the interface between the previous storm cycle uh, and our September, October snow. So we're gonna see an ECT here, to see if we can get any uh, propagation and uh, see, if, uh, see if these layers are uh, lighting up for us. Okay, so we just got an ECTP8 and we're getting it showing it up on the facet layer. So that's full propagation coming across on the facet layer. These are one to two millimeter facets um, and, the, uh, and the slab is pretty soft. So as it stiffens, it's gonna be communicating this even more. So as we get more load, as we get more wind, these facets aren't going anywhere. It's the material that's over top of it that's gonna change. And uh, likely we could be stuck with this for a little while. Keep checking in on the Bridger Teton. Keep it safe out there, folks. Be well.